Hi everybody, this is Pulkit Shabda. In this video, we'll be discussing the next problem of the ongoing series. And we'll be discussing the code forces round 645. And we are going to discuss this problem C, which is Selix update. So without further ado, let's read the problem out. During the quarantine, Sikro uh, Moft, uh, okay, directly in Microsoft, has more free time to uh, create the new function than Selix 2021. The developers made a new function gasgiz which infinitely uh, fills an infinite table to the right and down from the upper left corner as follows uh, we can see that uh, it will be in a diagonal fashion 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 onwards right so this is how it will be filled now we uh, I'll, I'll just cut the crap and let, to, let you know the actual question uh, it will tell us in the input we'll have some test cases uh, with the number of test cases can be up to 57,179 I still I'm still wondering why did they choose this weird number uh, and for each test case we'll have uh, four natural numbers and these four natural numbers will be representing you know two cells x1 y1 the first cell x2 y2 the second cell and uh, we basically want to move from x1 y1 to x2 y2 by moving only down uh, down and right moves so it will so the given you know uh, values will be such that x2 is greater than or equal to x1 and y2 is greater than or equal to y1 so uh, we want what we want to find is out of all the paths from the you know x1 y1 to let's say this is x2 y2 for of from all the paths, all the different paths, but is a different possible number of sums that we get from all the paths. For example, if we consider this path, we know that the sum that we'll get is 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4, 7 plus 8, 15 plus 13, which is 28. Sum that we'll, we'll be get is 28. When we can uh, look at other paths as well, and we want to report the different number of sum values that we'll get if we move from the first cell to the second cell. Uh, out of all the possible parts okay so that's what we want we can have a look at some of the examples uh, if we see this example uh, we have one one two two so it is basically talking about going from one to five so we have just two possible parts this one and this one and in the first case the part sum is going to be eight and in the second it's going to be nine so the number of different sums is two let's have for the Let's have it for the second case. Uh, it wants to go from 1, 2 to 2, 4. So 1, 2 means this, 2, 2, 4 means this. So the possible number of paths are 1 and then 2 and then 3, right? And all of these will be having different sums. Uh, that is why the answer is 3. So similarly for the other cases, in this case, the you know the, the start and the final cell is same so only one sum possible sum which is zero and this we can see that the values of x is one so we'll have only one possible path just keep moving towards the uh towards the right i think i don't know maybe right or down one of the possible one of these two so it will be just one path so one possible sum so yeah this is it for the simple test cases now i will be discussing the solution you can give it a try for yourself if you wish to so yeah i just copied this uh, image over here and i also wrote the next diagonal what you need to notice here is that when when we are going from one basically uh, number to another we'll be passing these diagonals exactly once this one will be passing once will be passing once every diagonal will be passing once so we'll be you know passing through exactly one cell from each diagonal we can't we can't visit two cells in a diagonal because we can uh, you know let's say let's we have this diagonals while we are making a right move or a down move let's say we are at this cell when we make a down move then also we move to the next diagonal when we are making a right move then also we move to the next diagonal so there is no way back we are going to the next diagonal in any case okay I hope that this is uh, this make uh, gets it one gets us one step ahead. Now, also we know that the you know the, the the values of the numbers that are there on each diagonal are going are increasing by one as we go down, and obviously the the ones at the top are with the smallest possible values. So 
the smallest possible sum that we can achieve uh, while going from one place to another is that if we basically uh, you know get this the highest uh, value in every time right let's say we wanted to go from 1 to uh, 18 this is the square that I'm this is a rectangle that I'm talking about right this is a rectangle of the values that I can visit during my path in my path so we know that these 1 2 4 7 are the smallest values for these diagonals we know that these are the smallest values for the, the diagonals these this 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 and this so if I choose this path I'll have the smallest possible sum right and similarly these are going to be the largest possible values in this diagonals and if I choose this path I am going to have the largest possible sum right so what I want to see is okay it isn't going any further I'll just erase it yeah so when I am at the smallest possible sum in this manner right I have a chance to increase the sum by 1 we can see if I use this 8 instead of this 7 by just you know uh, swapping these right and down moves by down and right I have increased my sum by 1 I just uh, get got rid of the 7 and in this particular diagonal I increased the sum by 1 and now again I have this tip in which where I, uh, where I have a right and uh, down and I also have one more option which is which is a right and a one and I can choose any of these two let's say I choose this one for now and I replace it by this and now I will increase my sum by one more value again I have these uh, I just have I have one this and one this tip which can be increased to one more uh, which can be used to increase the sum by one more value so in this case I'll be increasing it like this by one more value also I think I erase this eight yeah and again uh, what I can do is I can choose this one and I can increase them like this replacing this two by three and again I have this one which can be increased further further so I'll, I can just replace this eight by nine by doing like this then again I can replace this five by six by choosing this path instead of that so I have been able to reach from the smallest possible sum to the largest possible sums by making some transitions and you know during each transition what, 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 what was I doing I was moving to the next element in, in, in one of the diagonals and uh, you know uh, the, the sum was increasing by one so it means if I have the smallest num the smallest possible sum and I have the largest possible sum then it is possible to achieve all the sums from the smallest to the largest so I can say that my answer is b minus x plus 1 but the catch here is that I don't really need to calculate the biggest and the smallest sum I know I can I can see how many transitions I need to make to you know uh, come from the smallest sum to the largest sum we knew that we were just jumping to the you know just next uh, if I can just get rid of all this when I was making a transition what I was doing was I was choosing one of the diagonals I was and I was replacing the number in that diagonal with the just largest number so the number of different values that I would have gotten as sum would have been the number of transition total transition that I would have been able to make so for this rectangle there the, the example that I took let's say the initial sum value was uh, from this path and the possible transitions were going here then going here going here here to here here to here then here to here so the number of possible transitions were actually are actually equal to the number of values in this square you know, in this uh, smaller rectangle if I just exclude this smallest path uh, from the bigger rectangle the, the all of the rest uh, you know smaller uh, rectangle actually corresponding to the number of transformations that I need to make to get to the bigger sum the, to get to the biggest sum and each transition actually increases my sum by one so it is a different sum it, it adds up to the number of different values of sum right so uh, to get this number of different values but 
what will what will be the number of different values is that uh, the, the number of different you know transitions will be x2 minus x1 into y2 minus y1 we can see in this example we know that this is 1 2 3 uh, and these values are 1 2 3 and 4 i'm sorry for the ink color i was doing it 3 4 right so i know that uh, in this dimension the difference is 2 and in this dimension the difference is 4 minus 1 which is 3 so it is 6 plus 1 which is, which is 7 which gives us 7 possible seven different possibilities and we can see 3 into 2 is 6 and the number of different values in this rectangle are 6 as well so uh, I am doing this plus 1 because uh, 6 were the number of transitions that I am going to make and with each new transition, with, with, with one more transition, I'm going to increase my sum by one. But initially also I had the smallest sum, I want, I want to include that as well. So my answer is going to be this plus one, right? I hope uh, this makes sense to you. Uh, the coding part is actually very simple, but we can just go ahead and code it since it is simple. Okay, let's maximize it. Let's just get the test cases. We have four and one of the test cases. The first thing is get the number of test cases, then we want to get x1, y1, x2, y2, and get them seeing x1, y1, x2, y2. And I know that my answer is x1 minus x2 into okay not x1 minus x2 it's actually x2 minus x1 because x2 is where we want to go x2 minus x1 into y2 minus y1 plus 1 right i just print the answer also the one thing to note here is that the answer can be up to 10 raised to power 18 since the values are up to 10 raised to power 9 it means that these differences can be up to 2 into 10 raised to power 9 it means that the product can be up to 4 into 10 raised to power 9 uh, okay the differences can be up to 10 raised to power 9 only so uh, doesn't matter the answer, the answer value can be up to 10 raised to power uh, 18 so i need to use long long here instead of int uh, so you need to take care of that but anyway i'll be just uh, trying out this code 2, 3, 1, 1, it should work, and yeah, it works. So I just try and submit it now. Problem name is select update, which is C. Let's try and submit it. And it worked. So yeah, this was it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.